Um, you know, I work with different groups inside the domestic United States, just different activists and journalists and training them in digital security and operational security, which is how to use these digital security tools. Um, I think like while like um, it's cool to see like Black Lives Matter written in the pamphlet here, um, uh, I'm from Crypto Harlem and that's one of my projects, which is like in Harlem, which is a community in Manhattan, teaching people how to use um, simple crypto cryptography tools. Uh, to speak more like on your question about like predictive analytics and how people can try to, and that's something that we see with CVE. There's an attempt to uh, look at sentiment analysis, which is how a sentence or a paragraph is structured. Compare that to some corpus of data and predict, is this user a violent extremist or has their behavior suddenly changed and they've suddenly moved towards an ideal that appears to be extremist and possibly violent in its nature. And, um, you know, there, we see similar technologies being used to see like, hey, if someone tweets a certain message, does, can we analyze that and see if maybe that they may be mentally ill or think, have, you know, having suicidal thoughts and then can we like, you know, take an action before the person even realizes who they are or what they're thinking. And I think that right now the technology is flawed and it's, we cannot apply, one is like we cannot properly identify whether someone is about to um, become, a, go from like a, an extreme view to an, uh, a violent expression of that extreme view. And you know, there's plenty of research and data that shows this. And another thing is like, what would we do even if we did know that, especially talking about uh, people who develop platforms, software and websites on the internet. The, you know, Facebook is a company, it's not a country. There's, there's no like constitution that says we, you know, you have to have the right to sell arms in Facebook groups or you have to have the right to say things or not say things on Facebook. So I think it's dangerous um, to Yolanda's point this idea that of blocking messages that may be violent, because one person's extreme is not another person's extreme, and another person's uh, you know viewpoint of white, might, what might be like a violent is not the same thing as another one. So, uh, you know, when we look at things like the "Don't Be a Puppet" website, which is part of the CVE program, which has been rolled out by the FBI, and uh, in it there's a little video, and it's like, hey, you know, I'm Comey, and I'm just talking to you about you know, how we can keep you, a young person, from being a puppet. It reminds me of the early say no to drugs messaging, and I hope that it has like a little more effectiveness, but you know, in seeing how it's rolled out, it looks a lot like a quiz, like those listicles that you'll see on BuzzFeed, and you just go through and you answer these questions, and they're saying like, hey, um, which one of your friends might be a violent extremist here? Look at this demo of a Facebook wall. You know, like uh, maybe this environmental activist is gonna go violent and you're like, yes. And they're like, good, Jane. You know, and like, you know, maybe, uh, you know, my friend is going on vacation without his parents. Maybe he's gonna turn into a violent extremist. It's like, ah, very good, John. And I feel like, you know, th this is not, technology is wonderful. You know, an analog I like to say is like, look, at one point fire was technology. At one point the wheel was technology. We should use technology in policing. We should use technology in our kitchens, right? But we need to understand what is capable and what reality is and what the problem that we really face is. And currently CVE focuses on not just this idea of a violent extremist as someone who's uh, an American or someone who uses Western internet services and then they're gonna go bear arms and fight in some foreign war, but also under CVE is this definition of environmentalist as violent extremist and animal rights activist as violent extremist and, you know, um, people from movement from black lives could be seen as violent extremists to someone, right? Um, just being loud could be seen as violent, you know? If, uh, everyone's sitting down and someone takes a call on their phone, that could be violent, right? So I feel that it's, as someone who's a technologist and a developer who writes code, we have to be really careful in understanding what these things do and what they don't, and blocking is not a good solution. We're, we're not a country of censorship and blocking and hiding ideas. We're, if anything, we're at our best when we have diversity of thought, different arguments and ideas are expressed. That's what being American is about. So I feel like when it comes to the internet and CVE, a lot of it right now is, um, like there was a Reuters report, I think it was like uh, June 25th, right? Uh, Joseph Wen, Dustin Vaults exclusive 
Google, and uh, I think they found it also on Facebook, seem to be using hashes to automatically remove videos. So, you know, normally what will happen is there's some kind of like recommendation engine, people vote this is abusive or it's not, and every company has their own viewpoint on what they should do when something gets enough vo votes to move over a certain meter. In this, there are, there, it's no longer up to public debate. A computer has automatically said, this is a bad video, right? Um, it has a signature of that video in its, in its system, and if that shows up anywhere, it's automatically removed. And you know, that could be a political video. It could be a campaign video. It could be, you know, it really depends. You know, like when you're talking about things about the government trying to stop violent extremism, the government is fluid. You know, the government today is not the government of tomorrow. That's the beauty of this country, right? We don't have a dictatorship that someone stays in power for 50 years. But it's also dangerous when certain things that shouldn't be rolled out are rolled out. And I'll, I'll just kind of hope I spoke to your point.